Hello to you dwellers and welcome. I'm the Arcadian and today we are looking at the PVG, that's Player vs. Ghost, Limited Weekly Arena. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but it's the weekly arena against AI rather than players. And every week there's some kind of limitation to it, and this week's limitation is that you can only use a deck containing nature and mana cards. Now you can have only nature, only mana, or a combination of the two, but no light, no dark, and no gold. It's quite interesting. It's going to lead to a pretty aggro style of play. I think we're going to see a lot of Phantom of the Wolves, and of course this deck contains a Phantom of the Wolf of our very own. So let's jump into it and take a look. All right, so you can see that we're running two colors. I think this is important. Um, neither nature nor mana really has those kind of really early game heavy hitting creatures that is required to get a mono deck really off the ground. You could perhaps build an elf hero Triss, but we're going for the safer route, more defensive. Oh, hey, our weekly limited arena deck uh, just beat somebody. Nice. I'm recording this after I've done the fights. Um, just because it's easier don't worry about it but hey yeah, we want a little we want a ghost thing let's see how our main one does when we actually get there <laughs> anyway we're running a duo colored deck so first up we're using fairy now fairy has received some buffs since the mabino gadule days so don't immediately go oh, oh no fairy uh she's actually pretty damn good now for an aggro nature based deck so we're throwing the fairy in there very useful we've got the magic missile one cost removal spell gonna need a lot of removals uh, elf, one cost drop. You could use a fox instead, but fox is more late game offense. Elf is more early game defense. And since we're aiming for a 10 win streak, we really do want to make sure that we survive the early game up at those high win streak ranks because we've got less resources, less HP. We just need to sort of you know hunker down for the first couple of levels. So we're using an elf instead of a fox. Next up, Elven Archer. She's really, really good. Uh, AI does not really like blocking her properly. They don't. It doesn't seem to be able to sort of identify what she's going to hit. So she's a phenomenal card. Next up, we have Phantom of the Wolf, one of the two key cards in this deck. This guy's just fantastic. You know, two, three, four cost, and he buffs the attack of all the creatures, all the friendly creatures on the field. He's really, really good. Next up we have Lightning. Now this is an incredibly powerful spell at level, well it's good at levels 1 and 2, but it's incredibly powerful at level 3, because at level 3 it will actually attack two, well it'll hit two random creatures. Uh, we need to sacrifice one of our creatures, but because we're using Alron, we can use one of her vines, no big deal. Next up we have Turn to Frog, this is to deal with enemy uh, big guys that may come out, the Jaxes and so on and so forth, the ones that may cause us some problems. We won't need to use it too often, but when we do, it'll be pretty clutch. Next up is a hunt, of course. We're running nature, gotta run hunt. And Alron, the Princess Mononoke of this little Mononoke deck. Uh, she's just gonna be really, really handy alongside the Phantom of the Wolf. We're gonna be able to charge up those vines, throw them out. The lightning is gonna synergize well with her. It's gonna work out really, really nice. And of course we have Eagle, if you're running <clears throat> sort of an, an aggro control kind of uh, nature deck, you got to run the Eagle, way too powerful. A lot of people are also going to be running Eagle and Phantom of the Wolf, so you're going to want your own Eagle in there to be able to deal with both of those threats. Next up we have Tiny Hippo, uh, because this is going to be a very aggro orientated kind of arena this week, uh, there's going to be a lot of chip damage creatures, a lot of creatures with low attack value. Tiny Hippo shines in these situations. Put him in front of somebody with a 1 or 2 attack value, watch that attack of his skyrocket, then throw down the Phantom of the Wolf and watch Tiny Hippo just go to town. Uh, little guy is really good and a very good defensive wall as well since the only well since the most powerful removal spell in this arena is going to be hunt tiny hippo actually completely resists hunt it cannot be removed by a single removal spell making it very very powerful and finally we have firewall again <clears throat> we're going to be going up against a lot of aggro decks there's going to be a lot of elf hero trisses in there some alrons in there things like that we're just going to need to be able to clear the field make sure that our little creatures have a chance of getting in there and dealing their own damage so firewall 
And that's basically it. The deck itself is very, very aggro orientated, and you can play it like that at the early win streak levels, but do not try to play aggro when you get up into like the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and plus win streak levels. At that point, you're going to have to really sort of hunker down. In the early games, play fairy, get really aggressive with it. In the late games, try to conserve your resources. Hey, another weekly win. Obviously, this deck is doing pretty well with the AI. So, without further ado, let's jump in and see how to play it manually. Okay, let's make a start. First fight. All right, we're going up against Ace Viper, rank 46. Okay, fair enough. Mage Jax, no levels, single uh, mana. So, mono mana. Should be all right. We can take care of the Mana Thief immediately. And with the Fairy's damage, that takes us up to being able to level up. Fairy dodges out of the way, which gives us some extra nature, which is fantastic. We will take that attack. And Phantom of the Beauty comes out. We don't really care about her. She's not going to be doing enough damage to make it problematic. We'll drop the Eagle to kill the Black Spirit. Yeah, they switch sides. That's fine. Doesn't really make any difference to us. Uh, and we'll charge up. We can drop the uh, Phantom of the Wolf on the next turn if we really want to. And I think we do. So let's drop the Phantom of the Wolf. Charge up everybody. And uh, charge it one more time. That'll get us up to being able to level up to three. Out comes Indina Cora, which we don't really care too much about. We'll level up and we will drop Alron. She gets frozen, but it makes absolutely no difference. And our opponent is down to one HP now, so there's not really anything she can do about it. Simply doesn't have the actions to block us. Alron brings out the vines. Not that it matters. Phantom of the Wolf is going to land the finishing blow. All right, there we go. Ah, you won. Impressive. I know. Oh. So on, so forth. <laughs> okay, good. First fight done. Let's move on. All right, we're at nine wins in a row. Let's see if we can get a nice round ten win streak. Boom. <clears throat> All right, going up against Gizchikfchow. A uh, metal golem deck, no high levels, uh, obviously two colors, no monos. Uh, we start out with more nature than mana, so let's drop the Elven Archer. Yikes, okay, Grizzly Bear right off the bat. Thank goodness we have a hunt for that. So we've got to play fairly defensively because even though they're not a massively high, uh, well they're not like a high leveled uh, deck, they still start with more resources, more HP and all the rest of it than we do. So. We've got to be careful about this. I kind of want to drop an Eagle or an Alron just to take care of this, honestly, but we don't really have the resources for that. So, instead, let's drop a Fairy over here. If she moves, great. If she doesn't, also fine. Uh, and we'll see what we can do about this. Oh, Giant Growth. Interesting. It's on the archer, so we don't really care too much, but it does turn it into a bit of a threat. So let's drop Alron here. The fairy's going to kill that Garden of Life, and then next turn, if enough people survive, we can drop the Phantom of the Wolf, which they do good because our opponent's only just leveled up. Let's Phantom of the Wolf, and there we go. Hey, Princess Mononoke. Lovely. Metal Golem comes out, that's, uh, yeah, that's got a lot of HP. Thank goodness we have enough for a turn to frog. Good, okay, so between the Archer and the Fairy, that wolf is going down, and we will get eight damage out onto our opponent, so we'll just charge up, maintain as big a resource gap as we possibly can. There we go, good. We control the field, they don't have enough resources for an AoE spell, and with that, we are done. Let's just revive and hunt that guy out of the way, just so that we have a nice clear field, and I can feel like Princess Mononoke rides into town, un... I was gonna say unmolested, but that comes out kind of weird. Un unattacked, not attacked. She's fine. It's, it's all good. Look, she wins. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, 10 win streak, or 10, a 10 win streak, 10 wins in a row. I'm very happy with that. So we will stop there, get our consecutive winning points, uh, and let's see where we end up in the rankings. 
1595, so yeah, we still got a, a ways to go until we get into silver, but that means that we have a nice level 10 deck that can just sit, uh, hopefully earning us some extra uh, AI wins while we sleep. And that was the Princess Mononoke deck. I'm really enjoying this one, honestly. It's fast, it's aggressive, it's versatile, it's got a lot of punch to it. Every single match feels like this really intense skirmish. Uh, so I think I'm going to really enjoy this week's Limited Arena. Hopefully you guys do as well. If you'd like to copy this deck directly into your game, there's the share code up in the top right hand corner as always. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope the deck is equally enjoyable to you guys. If you do decide to run it, let me know how it goes and how high a win streak you can get up to. I generally stop at 10, but see if you can get, you know, 12, 15, 17, 20. Highest wins, I don't know, my heartfelt approval? Is that, is, is that a good reward? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Uh, but that's the end of this video, so please feel free to smash those like and subscribe buttons down below to get a notification of when this content goes live in the future. And until then, as always, have fun and good luck. <laughs>